in that men's junior featherweight round number two. And there we see the second of our men's junior featherweight fighters coming from Germany in the blue corner. David Halkivek taking on LDR Al Misegitov from Kyrgyzstan in the red corner. And Germany a growing force in mixed martial arts. Strong team they brought here as well. Real statement for them. They want to see exactly where they stand side by side against all these nations. And Kyrgyzstan again an emerging force in mixed martial arts. So we are set and ready for our second bout here. The second of our men's junior featherweight contests. David Halkichev from Germany taking on LDR Al Masayitov from Kyrgyzstan. David in the blue corner. LDR in the red. Just waiting for these cage doors to shut. Taking a little longer than usual. Finally, we are set and ready. This men's junior featherweight contest. Off we go. David Helkivek in from Germany in the blue corner. Taking on LDA Almasilitov in the red. And straight away, LDA in on this got the body lock looking to get the german athlete down to the mat and kyrgyzstan again an emerging force in mixed martial arts but you look at the uh, the flag being flown around the world with the likes of the valent valentina shevchenko and her sister antonia shevchenko And the game plan, very easy to see from LDA here, and a beautiful takedown, tight in on that body lock, worked him up against the cage, and then turned him off the cage, took him to the mat. Strong, strong takedown. Oh, stepping over, wrapping those legs up already. David sitting up, maybe looking to threaten in on that neck, but he's in a tough spot with those legs wrapped up, figure of forward. Another one of these positions that you see becoming more and more prevalent in this sport, tying those legs up, controlling the base. Oh, a nice switch around to side control. And you can see David trying to get those legs back in the game. But this takedown from LDA, impressive because he, he's done it away from the cage. And with the evolution of martial arts and the understanding of how to use the cage to get back to your feet, it used to be you could pin your opponent down there, control them, hold them down there, the cage would be your ally on top. But now, when you learn how to wall walk and, and use it to get yourself back to the feet. And this is a nice little battle going on. So David trying to turn back inside, but as he did, LDR made the adjustments. Now he's taking this back, oh, he's flattened him out. This is a big spot from the young man from Kyrgyzstan. Big shots coming down. He's wrapped up the arm. Now he's freed up. He's postured up. David covering up. This is going to be it. That is going to be a hammer fist coming down. LDF flattens him out once more. A miserable spot here for David. Oh, these short shots coming in. It's been a, a total grappling display of dominance from the Kyrgyz and now he's fed that arm underneath can he get the submission finish oh that's tight he is squeezing the referee looking on to final 10 seconds will he survive is he out he's out that's it whoa he gets the finish with just seconds to go Elia Elma Saitov and number three 
a brilliant di display of grappling dominance. Laid out his game plan extremely early. From the cage, the takedown was, was just technically brilliant. Once he got that top position, never did all he could to try and free himself up, turn back into his opponent. But LDS established that back control. At first, flattened him out face down. The ground and pound looked like it would be enough. But then he fed that arm under the chin, squeezed, and put David to sleep. Let's have another look. Oh, that is deep. The referee checking. No response from the fighter there, and that is it. Brilliant, technical, vicious from that young man, Eldier Almasayitov. A look towards his corner. That flag of Kyrgyzstan set and ready to fly high. So cage one so far today. Two fights, two finishes. Superb stuff. We have two more men's junior featherweight contests upon us. We have Uzbekistan taking on Italy next. And Mahmoud Jean Odilov taking on Albert Magris from Italy. And already the energy in this arena. It is almost tangible. The excitement, the anticipation, and then the performances we've seen so far from uh, the two victors, Nekruz Yakubov and this man that we're seeing, the, the repeat of the play, Eldia Almisaitov from Kyrgyzstan. And this was great. Controlled him against the cage took him down away from the cage and from here it was it was pure dominance technically on another level and although David did extremely well to survive right in the last seconds of that round it felt like it'd only be a matter of time and there you see the passion you are in there competing on your own. There is a team, a country behind you. And here we see the hammer fist coming down and he readjusted, flattened him out once more, spread those hooks, buried those hips deep, set that arm under the chin and just squeezed. There is the moment that young man earned his place in tomorrow's next round of the men's junior featherweight contest. So today, this cage, cage number one, will host the men's...